Hi, my name is Wanda Stifler and I'm with Staffers at Kissel Hill Garden Centers and today we're going to be talking about seed potatoes. You have a, a wide variety of potatoes to choose from. The new one out is the uh, blue type, which are blue inside when they grow. And um, also the red New Orleans and some bananas. One of your favorites though is the Yukon Gold. They are a, uh, a little bit yellow in the inside and very easy to use in just about all your recipes. Potatoes don't like cold ground, so it's best to plant them in April or May in a very sunny location. The potatoes do come about golf ball size and they do have eyes on them. And when you cut them, you, all you need is one eye per section of potato. Set them aside on a paper towel in a cool, dry place so they will, uh, for about one day, so they scab over, and then you may plant them. If you do get them and the um, sprouts are fairly long on them, don't worry about that. Just go right ahead and plant them because that is part of the root that you'll be that it will be developing in the in the ground then. You rototill your soil to a depth of about six to eight inches. Add in a little bit of peat moss. They do like it a little acidic, so I would use a fertilizer 5-10-10. After you have uh, prepared your soil, then make sure that you do buy certified seed potatoes. They're already treated with the fungicide and they're ready to be planted. You plant them in the soil about five inches. Uh, you can either plant them in a, a container. This is a, a little plastic bin that's, that's uh, special for uh, potatoes, or you can plant them in a 14 inch pot, or if you sow them directly in the ground, uh, suggestions are that you plant them in rows. You create a, a small trough, plant the potatoes in uh, about six inches, five to six inches deep, about um, nine to 12 inches apart to give the potatoes, when as they're growing, when the roots are growing, that's where the potatoes uh, will, will start producing. And you won't just get one potato, but you will get like four, five, six, seven potatoes off of one of those little shoots. As they are growing, uh, you'll see that um, they, they do uh, are nice and green and um, will get nice and bushy for you. One of the problems that uh, they do get are, of course, potato bugs. You can either ignore it or you can treat it with a, um, a pesticide, but I would be very careful what you use because uh, you will be eating these potatoes and you don't want to use something that would be harmful. When you're ready to um, harvest them, you can try and harvest them early in the season, like in July or August, and that's when you get your little new potatoes. They're just then they would be um, about the size of a baseball, and if you want them to uh, store for later on, you can wait until real late in the season when they start when the leaves start to yellow. Then you take a uh, fork and dig them up and you'll see that you have some nice big potatoes. Set them aside, take the soil off of them, set them aside uh, in a cool dry place to, to let them dry off and then you may store them in a bin or in um, a mesh bag, something like that. Uh, so certain potatoes will store longer than other potatoes, so if you have any questions on storage or what type of potato is best to use, please feel free to ask. If you have any questions, feel free to ask any of the associates here. They'll be glad to help you out. Happy Hatch Browns!